Hello and welcome to today's repair video. Some months ago I bought this violin, but as you can see, there is an issue with the height of the strings. But it's not caused by the height of the bridge or something like that. But the problem is that the neck has been detached from the body, as you can see here. That means that I will have to remove the neck out of the body so I can control and maybe re-glue the ribs onto the block because I think that these have also been detached. Then I will place the neck back onto the body. What I'm also going to change is the fingerboard because it is made out of some kind of hardwood that I don't like. I prefer always ebony fingerboards. And I'm going to change the pegs, although I like them. They don't fit very well and they are made out of rosewood, which is not uh, allowed anymore. You have to uh, have a certificate if you want to trade with uh, parts that are in rosewood. I don't want to go in all that trouble, although it is old and it should be allowed. I'm going to put ebony fittings on it just to avoid all these uh, issues. And of course I will put a new bridge, tailpiece, sandpost, strings, and I will also work a little bit on the varnish. Here is some damage. So as you understand there is pretty much to do. Let's start immediately by removing the fittings and the neck out of the body. The neck went off easily and as you can see here both ribs are detached from the block as from the back. That means that I will have to glue these parts first and then I will be able to put the neck back onto the body. So let me glue this first. As the glue on the ribs is drying, I can go ahead with a scroll and put the new pegs on it. It is a bit strange to work on the scroll like that without the body, but at the other side it is easier because you don't have the body in the way. Anyway, the pegs fit like that and now I have to cut them, trim the edges and finish them up and drill the holes. And so the pegs are in place. New pegs look much better than the old ones and they fit perfectly. Now what I want to do is remove the fingerboard so I can make a new one. I had hoped that the fingerboard would come off easily as the instrument is old and I expected the glue to be dry, especially because of this issue, uh, but it doesn't. That means that I'm going to put some wet uh, pieces of paper along the sides so some moisture can go between the fingerboard and the neck. And I hope that in a couple of hours I can remove it easily. As long as I have to wait for the fingerboard, 
I'm going to remove the clamp as this part is dry so I can glue the other side. I tried again to remove the fingerboard but it is it is breaking and it is not ah there it goes it is not coming off um, that means that I will have to cut it and plane it off I think that it is glued with white glue so there is no way to remove it I will do that and then I can start on the new fingerboard I will start by marking the width of the sides. Now I can plane the upper side until the correct height and curve. With the upper side finished, I turned the fingerboard upside down and worked on the underside. And finally, I can glue the fingerboard on place. Everything is dry, that means that I can remove the clumps. Next, I am going to fit the neck on the body again. And so the violin is in one piece again, I can remove this clamp and the neck is on its place again and is very steady. That means that I can make the final parts, the nut, the bridge, work a little bit on the varnish here and then mount the instrument and finally listen to it. I will start with the nut and I will also trim a little bit the edges of the fingerboard.
Finally, all the parts of the instrument are finished. Now I'm going to clean it up because it is pretty dirty and also repair these varnish damages and then I can mount it. And that's it, the instrument is finished, it makes sound again, it is nice and shiny and in wine piece. I'm going to make pictures of it and I have also some other instruments that I still have to make pictures and put on my website. Don't forget to have a look if you are looking for a new instrument. That means that we arrived at the end of today's video. Many thanks to the Patreons for supporting the channel, many thanks to you for watching the video. Don't forget to visit my Patreon page and my Etsy shop for these clocks and I will see you next time again. Bye bye!